think cities will look like in 150 years? It's a levitating city. Our city's an underwater city. We have a monorail system. You will design an entire virtual city, complete with everything from fire stations to schools. Using SimCity, you and your teammates are going to design a city that progresses at least 150 years in the future and has at least 50,000 residents. I was the one who was in charge of the SimCity. It took a lot of trial and error to figure out how the city should run, how big your city needs to be, how to start it out. So it takes a little practice, but once you get it started, it taught them about all that is involved in planning a city and knowing that it's not just, you know, putting up some buildings, that they have to think about the infrastructure and, and how to power the city and um, there's a lot of other components and keeping the residents happy. Experiment with all kinds of things, like where to put your city, on the coast, near mountains and rivers. You'll assign the zones, commercial, industrial, retail and agricultural, where your citizens, called Sims, will live and work. It is a very realistic simulation, and uh, I've found that students may have to start over several times because their city either did not thrive or they made some choices initially that they didn't understand the consequences downstream. Uh, an example might be they made a choice of having a lot of extra power in a city, but then that produced too much pollution, and their citizens were not happy with that, and they either moved away or they complained. All teams start by downloading the Medium Starter Region from the Future City website. From there, you decide where the roads will go, how many schools to build, where your sims will live and work. Zoning's important. You don't want to live by, people don't want to live by dirty industry. You don't want a, a long commute time. In our SimCity model, we use the mixed use zones. We put our industrial, we put our residential zone, we mix it in with some commercial zones because then the people could have a very short commute to their jobs. We also mix some of the industry in with our commercial because if we can get the most polluting industries away from the residential, the people are going to be happy because they're going to have cleaner air. You'll need to think about how your city provides power. Nano antenna, electromagnetic collectors. Will you use only renewable energy sources, fossil fuels, nuclear energy? Where does your city get its water? How does your city handle stormwater, treat wastewater, and deliver clean drinking water? And don't forget the trash and pollution. No one wants a messy city with bad air quality. When I did the simulation, I had the rubric right next to me and I was always looking, checking it. And he read that as like his bedtime yeah, story. That was my, yeah, that was my bedtime story. You'll need to have enough police, fire, medical and other city services to meet your Sims needs, all while maintaining a balanced budget. Use the data views panel to see how your city is doing and to help you decide on the costs and trade-offs of design decisions. And you better keep the Sim citizens of your city happy. Their tax dollars provide the money to maintain and increase the infrastructure. Don't forget about the research essay topic. Review the essay before you start to design. Who knows, there may be ideas or solutions you might be able to try out in your virtual city. Engineering is all about teamwork. Your team will need to work together to finish your city. We all tried SimCity, and so we came back to class and said which one was the best. Probably the biggest tip would be stay with it. You can't just set it up and let it run, because that's not gonna work. You have to monitor it and play it like a game. I'd suggest that they start with that now. Start playing with the, the program and try to build a city, and if it doesn't work, try again. It's important to ask lots of questions throughout the process. You can ask your mentor for help, or check out futurecity.org for tips and resources. Have fun creating your very own city of the future.